Welcome back, dear viewers. Today, we delve into the recent social media outburst from the 98-year-old former Malaysian Prime Minister, Mahatha Mohamad. Now, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you find this content intriguing. Mahatha decided to stir the pot by cautioning Malaysians against being poor people in a rich country. He drew a puzzling comparison to the situation in Ukraine, suggesting that the Ukrainians could surrender their territory to Russian invaders to stop the war but commendably choose to fight instead. But hold on, Mahatha, aren't these two scenarios completely unrelated and incomparable? To add fuel to the fire, Mahatha boldly challenged the idea of promoting a multiracial Malaysia, claiming it to be unconstitutional and a threat to the Malay land. Now, isn't it ironic that this is the same person who once envisioned a united Malaysian nation? We can't help but wonder what caused this sudden shift in his beliefs. While Mahatha may have his reasons, it's important to consider the implications of his statements. Malaysia has been a melting pot of diverse cultures, and promoting inclusivity and unity should be a priority for any leader. His stance against embracing Malaysia's multi-ethnic identity not only seems outdated but also divisive. One commenter astutely pointed out the insensitive timing of Mahatha's post, as it coincided with the recent passing of Malaysia's domestic trade minister, Salahuddin Ayyub. The nation was in mourning, and here comes Mahatha's controversial take on critical issues. Timing is everything and it's evident that he failed to grasp the sensitivity of the situation. Let's not forget the other political figures who have criticized Mahatha's statements. Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim emphasized the Madani concept, which promotes understanding and participation among Malaysians of all backgrounds. It's a step towards progress, something that Mahatha's outdated views seem to neglect. As we wrap up, it's crucial to stay critical and question the narratives put forth by public figures. While Mahatha may be a respected figure in Malaysian politics, that doesn't mean he's immune to criticism. Remember to share your thoughts in the comments below. We welcome a healthy discussion and diverse viewpoints. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, stay informed and stay curious.